Oh, you thought I forgot about you, white boy? You thought I forgot about you? Two last names, boy. You thought I forgot about you, two last names? Talking about the trust fund, baby. When you the one that's the trust fund, baby, you sucked at Notre Dame, you sucked in the pros, you always was trash. And you got all these stick riders like, yeah, he went at his coach and destroyed him. He ain't destroyed nothing. Y'all jealous because Deshaun Watson getting paid more money than these white quarterbacks. The man is hurt. Now he trying to lie and say, oh, he was cleared by doctors. Well, that's the team doctors. If the team doctors cleared him and he's still feeling something in his rotator cuff, he's finna go get another outside opinion. That's what a lot of players do. You did the same thing, LeVar Arrington, with your buck dancing ass. And don't let me talk about what you was in Washington, always crying like a punk, because Jeremiah Trotter was trying to put you in your damn place. But you too busy wanting to fight because your ass, because you don't want him to be the leader of the team. He's coming in trying to lead and all you doing is giving pushback. I know all about you, dog. I know all about you. All about you, LeVar. Nothing but a big crybaby. They tried to compare this dude to Lawrence Taylor. Got in the league, he won none but a sack of shit. Overrated. But see, it's always these overrated players. It's always these backup quarterbacks who got something to say. Ain't you the one, ain't you the one, Brady Quinn? Who says C.J. Stroud promised to go to the camp, to go to a, a Manning passing a camp when Ryan Clark had to debunk your dumb ass? And then Jason Shitlock, start with your buck dancing, you fat piece of shit. You look like a fat pug. That's what you look like. I'm going to start calling you Pug Whitlock. No, nah, Pug Shitlock. Yeah, yeah, that's a better name for him. Goddamn pug. Look just like a pug. Short and fat. You fat piece of shit. I ought to kick you in your stomach, but I don't want to do that because you might diarrhea all over the goddamn floor. Talk, talk about Ryan Clark race baiting. Ryan Clark ain't race baiting. He asked a simple question, which I don't believe Brady Quinn does. Where's your criticism of Daniel Jones, Brady Quinn? Huh? Where's your criticism of Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow? Huh? Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes been playing like shit. Why ain't call him out? Why aren't you praising Lamar Jackson playing one of the best seasons of his career in an offense that he's proven to everybody that he can pass? When given time, he can he can pass. So nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear that shit from you. Nobody want to hear that shit from Rob Park and all these guys who ain't nothing but a bunch of clowns. Y'all never press these white athletes, but y'all always go at the black athlete. You thought I forgot about you, Brady Quinn? I just been tired from work. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. Tonight I will be giving you guys... I will be giving you guys um, the trades and everything, break down the trades to different teams and telling you who actually did what. But here's the kicker. He trying to say Deshaun Watson is just sitting out collecting checks. You, that is a bold, that's a bold accusation. But you know what, guys? You know why he could get away with it? Because he's not a journalist. He is an entertainer, just like Skip. That's why they're allowed to give their opinions on stuff because they're an opinionist and they're an entertainer. They're not journalists because they're allowed to say things that journalists would not say. 
Brady Quinn is upset because the Cleveland Browns, because he sucked with the Cleveland Browns. You barely could beat out Derek Anderson. You were always hurt. You were always crying like a little B.I.H., which you are. You never had the balls to be a starter. You weren't that at Notre Dame. Everybody even said that you weren't all that. Merrill Hodges even said, man, who is this guy? He's not all that. Brady Quinn has always been a, a trash player. He was a trash quarterback. But you got all these trash quarterbacks. Him, Orlovsky, Romo, all these bums out here trying to tell what a starting quarterback or a real good one supposed to be. They ain't going to say, oh, he's never been top five. That's a lie. Before the accusation, sir, which he wasn't convicted of. So why are you making a distasteful joke to his coach talking about, oh, maybe, okay, well, I'll massage my words. Would that be and give you a happy ending? One of the most terriblest things I've heard. And you got all these bum ass content creators who's majority white. Then you got the, then you got the Tom boys, the little Toms. You know the times out here co-signing like they always do. But over here, you get the real. I'm going to tell the truth about the situation. You were dealing with injuries. Did anybody question you? No, because you're white. White athletes never get criticized. And I don't want to hear somebody say, he was criticized the other day, but for how long? How long was he criticized? They trying to blame Steve Wilkes out in San Francisco, but nobody's blaming Kyle Shanahan. Why is that? Why is that? Kyle Shanahan supposed to be this goddamn genius, but all I keep seeing is a, 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 a fake ass, all I keep seeing is a damn fake ass guy who's impersonating a genius. He's fake. He's always benefited from daddy's system. He's running his daddy's plays and that's why he's successful. He's always getting a pass. He's always getting massaged, just like that Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick been put on exposed. He's still sticking with this trash ass Mac Jones. But he like, man, I gotta keep going with him. Like, and I told everybody, Mac Jones ain't that type of quarterback. But no, you got guys who don't know football who come to my channel trying to tell me Mac Jones could play. No, he can't play. If you put him on a team with a bunch of good players that are all in the top five at their position, hell yeah. But this ain't college, bruh. You're not going to get that. So it's like, what are we talking about? All I heard was Brock Purdy's the next this, next that. Brock Purdy been looking like shit because the Giants exposed him. Dallas basically exposed him last year. They just couldn't get no points on the board. But Dallas exposed him. That defense had Purdy looking like crap. Then the Eagles knocked his ass out the game. Then this year he was coming in front running like he always do. But then when he got to a real defense with the Giants, their scheme, he was getting rattled. But they only won because Brian Dabble and the Giants are dumb. So then when they went to go play the Browns, the Browns whooped their ass because the Browns' Jim Swartz is a great defensive coordinator. Better than that bum down there in uh, Washington. Both of them bums, Del Rio and Rivera. He can actually coach defense. It's not just personnel with him. He knows how to run schemes. Unlike the rest of these guys. But Brady Quinn, keep that man name out your mouth. How about you criticize the white athletes like you criticize? Why are you criticizing Daniel Jones? I don't think Daniel Jones seriously hurt. Or is it a vaginal tear and his heart hurt? Which one is it? Why are you not giving smoke? 
Why aren't you giving smoke to these white athletes? It's always the black athletes. C.J. Stroud, then it was Deshaun. Why aren't you praising Lamar Jackson? Every time Lamar Jackson wins, nobody talks about it. They just talk about how good of a job John Harbaugh doing. The only people talk about Lamar is those that are in, Mar in Maryland, as they call it. They call it Maryland. Justina Anderson basically said all these teams talked about they didn't want Lamar are now looking for a quarterback by next year's draft or by, this, by the end of the season. All that talk, Lamar ain't this. Lamar Jackson is shattering the mold. He is the combination of a scrambler and a passer. He can throw from the pocket. He's just a guy who can run. Cam was the same way. They hated Cam because Cam was better than all they white boys. So they had to find some ways to hate on him. Ron Rivera sabotaged the end of his career. The league started sabotaging the end of his career. Matt R. Who started calling these bogus plays for um, Cam. Basically making him look worse than what he was and he wasn't. Cam still has some good years left in him. But no, nah, Brady, but no, nah, but Tom, Tom is the only one who could be the quarterback to play for a long time. Right? No, nah, Cam could have did it too. But Ryan Clark told the truth. Ryan Clark told the truth. And Pug Shitlock need to shut up. Because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're going to go at Ryan Clark. And then Ryan Clark had to put you in your place real brief. You're irrelevant, Shitlock. Don't nobody watch you but old white people who are racist and old buck dancing niggas. That's all that watches you. Don't nobody watch you, bruh. Don't nobody care about you, bruh. You kissed all that ass for the white man and what they do to you. They, they, ain't over, they didn't overpay for you, pug. They ain't overpay for you, pug. Pug shit lock. What they do? Did they pay for you? No. Did they go the extra mile to give you some extra money? Hell no. Because they could find another one of you, but that's better. Akko, Emmanuel Akko. They found somebody better than you. And could buck dance just good as you. And Marcellus Wiley. First of all, I never liked you because of the way you used to dog Kobe. I still don't like your bald-headed bastard ass. I don't give a damn what you said about Max Kellerman or what inside you have. You a bitch. You are. You a bitch. And I would tell you that to your face, too. Deshaun Watson, y'all are upset because he wasn't found guilty. Y'all upset because the proof showed that the women were lying. That's why they went and did a civil suit, Marcellus. That's why they went to go do a civil suit, Pug Shitlock, Brady Quinn. That's why they went to do a civil suit so they could get some money. But you know what? Why didn't they disclose how much money they got? Because they ain't get shit. That's why. Why they kept the money disclosed? Oh, well, they're, they're white. We don't want their money known because we don't want nobody to try to rob them. Ain't nobody finna rob them hoes. They ain't get what they thought they were going to get, and they were mad about it. Now you got one of them still going out on tours trying to diss him, just like Kobe Bryant accuser did, and everybody in the town knew y'all was hoes and sluts. So, dog, stop with the fakeness. 
There are real women out here who are being raped. There are real men out here who are being raped. Talk about those victims. Stop talking about people who looking to get a goddamn bag and trying to be famous or use as a weapon to tear down an athlete, which is black. Because this shit don't happen to white guys. And if it does, it's swept under the rug. But Brady Quinn, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, my G. Why you didn't have this smoke for Ben Roethlisberger when he played? Huh? I mean, you were out the league quick and fast and into the broadcasting and journalism shit. Why you ain't go at him? You know, why aren't you going at these white quarterbacks, man, who ain't playing good? Kirk Cousins, before he got hurt, he was putting on a shitty season. Why ain't you calling out Baker Mayfield? Baker Mayfield's been terrible. Why ain't you call him out? Trevor Lawrence has not really had a great year. He's been just okay, if not below average. Why ain't you calling him out? Why ain't you call Ryan Tannehill out? I'm calling all these names out that I've been critical of, and I've been critical of the black quarterbacks too. I'm critical of both quarterbacks. I don't care your skin tone. I care about your play on that field. I don't give a damn if you're Asian. If you can play, you playing. But don't be using that Asian, anti-Asian crap when y'all don't get did as worse as black folks in this country. So I don't want to hear that shit. Hispanics get done worse than y'all. We get done the worst, then it's Hispanics, and that's it. Little fine, little Asian. That <laughs> I was talking about them. So that's what I'm saying. When y'all gonna stop with your bullshit, man, and be real, man? When y'all gonna tell the truth? When y'all gonna stop with all your damn lying and stuff and trying to paint pictures and stuff? But Brady Quinn, you and Lavar Arrington, Lavar. Yo punk ass got hurt as well. You got hurt as well, sir. And the reason in Washington y'all were losing is because you were a damn head case. You didn't want to listen. You weren't coachable. You weren't coachable at all. And I know because one of our coaches that coached our team in college used to coach, the, used to help with the D line back in Washington. So he knows all about your crybaby ass. So thank y'all for listening. I'm out. F Brady Quinn, F Pug Shitlock. Well, we're going to call Brady Quinn two last names. F two last names, F Pug Shitlock, F Marcellus Wiley, and F that bitch ass dude as well, LeVar Arrington. Rob Parker, Brussels Sprouts. Nick Wrong and all of these chumps. I'm out. Deezy.